All right, this is the Regents Made Simpler video review with visuals of the January 2024 Living Environment Biology Regents Exam. So this is the cover page. We're giving this as the question booklet. So to just go over the instructions quickly, you write your student name and your school name here. And then the possession or use of any communications device is strictly prohibited when taking this examination. If you have or use any communications device, no matter how briefly, your examination will be invalidated and no score will be calculated for you. Print your name and the name of your school on the lines above. A separate answer sheet for multiple choice questions in parts A, B1, B2, and D has been provided to you. Follow the instructions from the proctor for completing the student information on your answer sheet. You are to answer all questions in all parts of this examination. Record your answers for all multiple choice questions, including those in parts B2 and D on the separate answer sheet. So there's a separate answer sheet that's given to you for all the multiple choice questions. Record your answers for all open-ended questions directly in this examination booklet. So all the for the free response, you answer inside the booklet. All answers in this examination booklet should be written in pen except for graph, graphs and drawings, which should be done in pencil. You may use scrap paper to work out the answers to the questions, but be sure to record all your answers on the answer sheet or in this examination booklet as directed. When you have completed the examination, you must sign a declaration printed on, the, on your separate answer sheet indicating that you have no unlawful knowledge of the questions or answers prior to the examination and that you have neither given nor received assistance in answering any of the questions during the examination. Your answer sheet cannot be accept accepted if you fail to sign this declaration. Notice a four function or scientific calculator must be available for you to use while taking this examination. So you're given um, a four function or scientific calculator. You should also have a pen and a uh, pencil, pencils for the graphs and the drawings. And again, all the answers should be recorded um, in the answer sheet for multiple choice and on inside the booklet itself for the free response. So we're starting here on part A. So part A, answering all questions in this part. Part A is on questions one through 30. For each statement or question record on the separate answer sheet, the number of the word or of the word or expression that of those given best completes the statement or answers the question. So part A is all multiple choice. You're given four choices and you are to choose the correct uh, one that fits the answer. So question number one, question one, homeostasis in a single celled organism is maintained through the proper functioning of organelles, estrogen, guard cells, and antibodies. So homeostasis in a single celled organism, homeostasis is a very important word on the biology region exam, like biodiversity as well. Homeostasis means maintaining a stable internal environment. So all organisms on earth uh, they're all doing whatever it takes to be to maintain homeostasis, which is a stable internal environment inside of the organism. You have two types of organisms. You have the single celled organisms. Uh, those are organism, organisms that are that are made of a cell. So living organisms are either made up of one cell or many, many, many cells. So you have single celled organisms are made of one cell and multicellular organisms are made up of many, many cells. Like us, we are multicellular. We are made up of billions and billions of cells. And in multicellular organisms, we have cells which make up tissues, which make up organs, which make up organ systems and make up the organism. But in single-celled organisms, they just have the organelles to carry out life functions, right? The organelles are the structures that are inside of a cell. So the nucleus, the mitochondria, the chloroplast, the cell membrane. These are all organelles that, that, are inside, uh, that are inside cells. Again, we also have cells and they also, of course, have organelles as well. But those cells are structured into tissues, organs, organ systems, and organisms. But in single cell, they just have that one cell. So they rely on their organelles to carry out life functions. Therefore, the answer is going to be one. Organelles would therefore be the answer. Question two. In a stable ecosystem, each niche is usually occupied by only one species. The species occupying a particular niche is able to continue to remain there as a direct result of ecological succession, favorable adaptations, a new mutation, and selective breeding. So a niche and a stable ecosystem, uh, an ecosystem is the interaction between living organisms and the physical environment. So the biotic with the abiotic factors. And each niche is usually only occupied by one species, which means that a niche is what the organism does. So for instance, the frog, you know, sits on the lily pod and eats uh, bugs. The worms are in the ground. The 
you know, each niche is what the organism does. Squirrels, they look for nuts. So niche is what the organism does. So each species really has, you know, its own niche, basically, you know, each, each species, like the gorilla, the bird, the snake, the frogs, they're all doing their own different thing. They're all, they're, they're, they're all doing their own different thing, basically. And the reason they're able to stay in that particular niche is because of favorable adaptations. They're, the answer is going to be favorable adaptations because this is uh, what evolution is about, is that you had with evolution is they had different organisms living in um, a certain area, but the ones that have the most favorable adaptations, adaptations means that they have the favorable characteristics to survive in that specific ecosystem, they will be the ones that survive and then pass on their genes to the next generation. So the frog, you know, has a specific niche that is able to eat certain flies. So those frogs that had this niche and is able to live well in that niche will survive and pass it on. So really uh, the organisms you see in different ecosystems, uh, they were the ones that were able to survive in that ecosystem because they had the favorable adaptations, which means the favorable characteristics to live in that ecosystem. Like we explained in the review course, a white polar bear uh, is the one that lives in uh, you know the North and South Pole with the snow because they have the white fur to survive in that ecosystem because uh, you know they blend in very well with the white snow. That's called a favorable adaptation, and that would be the answer to question number two. Question, so question three, question three we're on now. What exposed to UV ultraviolet light? Human skin cells produce some protein melanin. This protein helps protect skin cells from damage caused by UV light. This is an example of a gene that cannot be passed on to offspring, natural selection producing a new species, special sexual reproduction that would produce variation, environmental factors affecting gene expression. So when exposed to UV light, human skin cells produce a special protein called melanin. So this is answer to this is going to be four, that environmental factors affect gene expression. Because genes, genes are uh, genes are sections of uh, chromosomes. Chromosomes are just um, DNA that's tightly packed together. Again, DNA, DNA uh, is the in the cells, and that tells the cells what to do. And the way they do that is that DNA codes for proteins. They code for proteins, and then proteins make up very important things in the body, in the cells, like uh, enzymes, the antibodies, the receptor molecules. Um, so DNA makes the proteins. Now the DNA could be affected by environmental factors, which would cause different proteins to be made. So therefore the environment has an effect on gene expression. For instance, if you put two Siamese rabbits, which means they have the exact same DNA, you put one in a cold environment and one in a hot environment, the one in a cold environment will have black fur because the DNA uh, is affected by it. And, um, and the, uh, the, the gene expression, the proteins that are made from the DNA uh, will will be made based on the different environmental factors. So the answer, therefore, is going to be four, that environmental factors affect the gene expression. Question four, the human pancreas contains cells that secrete insulin. Only these cells produce insulin because cells eliminate the parts of the genetic code they do not use. All other cells lack the genes for insulin production. Different cells use different parts of the genetic information that they contain. They are the only cells associated with the digestion of sugar. So why does the human pancreas have the cells that secrete the insulin? The answer is that every single cell in an organism, uh, in a multicellular organism, will have this exact same DNA. Again, DNA is DNA is the co codes for proteins, and genes are specific portions of the DNA that code for a trait, which is you know the, how the organism, you know, the eyes, the blue eyes, the red freckles, red hair, those would be traits. And the gene are sections of the DNA that codes for these traits. Now the same exact DNA is located in every single cell of the organism. So if you take someone's hair cell, their nose cell, or their toe cell, they all have the exact same DNA. That's why in crime scenes, it could take just uh, any part of the human body, like the hair or whatever, and they can find the DNA of that organism because all the, all the cells have the exact same DNA but every cell is different because every cell uses different parts of the DNA. So for instance, one cell would use this part of the DNA and code for freckles. This one uses this part of the DNA and codes for the blue eyes. Therefore, the answer is going to be, the answer to this question is going to be three, that different cells use different parts of the genetic information that they contain, but every cell has the exact same DNA though. Question five, in humans, two, organis two organ systems work together to move oxygen throughout the body and deliver it to cells. 
which system directly de de delivers oxygen to body cells. So we have organ systems. That's how multicellular organisms work, is with different organ systems. We have a lot of different organ systems in our body. And which two organ systems are able to move oxygen through the body and deliver it to cells? Oxygen is needed by cells uh, because all cells have mitochondria. So they take in oxygen and glucose and create ATP energy. So oxygen obviously is a very important um, molecule in living organisms. Now, body systems, you have a lot of different body systems. Here are some of the body system, skeletal, muscular, respiratory, digestive, how you eat, urinary, getting rid of waste, circulatory, transporting materials throughout the body, nervous system, and endocrine system, we're controlling and regulate the body, and the immune system is your body's defense system. So which two body systems are able to uh, move oxygen throughout the body and deliver it to the cells? The answer is going to be the respiratory and the circulatory because the respiratory system is your lungs, uh, and they breathe in the oxygen from the air into the body and remove the CO2. They bring in the oxygen. Then the circulatory system is the transport system of the body. So the, the circulatory system is the transport system of the body, and that transports the nutrients, oxygen, hormones, waste, and everything to and from the cells. So they collect the oxygen that goes into the lungs, goes into the alveoli, and then the blood system goes around it and is able to take in that oxygen and transport it throughout the cells. The question is asking which system directly delivers oxygen to body cells. So the respiratory brings in the oxygen, but the circulatory system is going to be the one that transports the oxygen and other materials to body cells. So the answer, therefore, is going to be four. So like bacteria, which we produce extremely fast. So the answer, therefore, is going to be three. Hey, I'm Donnie Rudansky from Regions Made Simpler, and that is the end of the demo. But if you would like to buy the entire course, which is a two-part course, and only in two hours, you can learn all the material you have to know for the upcoming biology region exam, as well as video explanation with visuals of past region exams. Where as of now, I have the past two region exams up. I'm planning on putting up a third as well. And that is for only $89. You can get all of that and you can be ready for the upcoming exam. That is less than the price of one tutoring session usually. And for just $89. So I'll show you here what it looks like. So again, you get, again, you get the two part review that goes through the entire material in just two hours, as well as video review and with ex with visuals of the past two region exams as of now. As you see here, it's not just me explaining the questions. I also have visuals from the course to go over each question as well. As you can see here, you can see the video review um, with explanations and visuals of those exams. So if you want to do well on the upcoming exam for just $89, you can go to regentsmadesimpler.com. The link is right here on the bottom right. And click on it to do well on the upcoming exam.